In order to be able to teach something worthwhile, you need to know something worthwhile. Who can remember the four levels of teaching? It's the tactics and the strategy, principles and essence, right? If you are reliant on a coach for tactics and if your coach is only teaching you tactics, I always use this example when people are in an instant message conversation. They're, they're, they're following these templates and then the prospect starts talking about their cat, right? And they're looking through the course materials and going, where's the bit where they start talking about their cat? Guess what? It's not there. It's not there because a tactic is a set of templates. It's a set of language that they're told to send, they're told to do. But the reality is business and life, conversations can go an infinite number of routes. An infinite number of things can happen in a sales conversation. An infinite number of things can happen when you're building your business. And if you're not able to draw on the strategy to inform that, you're screwed because you can't think for yourself. You're like a robot reliant on these tactics. That's really difficult. And if you're also teaching at that level, and even with the strategy, when things stop working, if you're not able to draw on the principles, whenever anyone asks me a question, you've probably seen me through this week say, I'll reference back to the principles of psychology, of what people think, how they feel, open loop, the need for complete information. If you're in a program or reliant on tactics right now, you're going to get limited success because the tactic is going to work and then it's not. So let's recap the combination of the habits, the hinge habits, moving up to think about strategy, moving about to principles and essence. What do you hold dear in your life? This is the push, be, pull. Every single day you get out of bed pushing yourself to do things, pushing yourself to have success, pushing yourself and going through the motions, you will hit a glass ceiling very quickly. It's usually enough for you to make a living, or it might be even worse. Everyone has their financial thermostat. Some people are comfortable with 10 grand debt, 20 grand debt. Some people want 10 grand in the bank to feel safe. Some people want 20 grand in the bank to feel safe. We all have, and you have your own individual financial thermostat. It's when you reach that number, you start feeling a bit uncomfortable. If you are just pushing, you will stay in that place where you feel safe. You're never going to get that out of the 10 grand debt, the 20 grand debt. You're never going to get that 100 grand in the bank, the 200 grand in the bank. We had to have 100 grand in the bank to apply for the US visa. That's what I was able to do by moving away from a push v pull. A pull is a vision. A pull is something that's greater than yourself that pulls you every single day to get out of bed and challenge yourself. For me, it's energy. I just want to have great energy. I want to go through life. I look at all these people that are 60 plus with great energy. That's where I want to be. That is exactly where I want to be. I'm pulled by my family. I'm pulled by my son growing up and getting there. So you really need to be able to start thinking and teaching in these areas and looking for support from coaches that are able to talk at this level. If you're in a program where they're just talking about the avatar and the messages and it's all business, good luck because your business is your life. Your life is your business. They're not interchangeable. Sad life, sad business. Happy life, happy business, right? Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> That's what I've been taught, right? And, and this leads to the idea of the empty well. There's too many people in this industry today that complain, oh, I'm not getting clients. Clients are getting, not getting results. And then, and then I go on a sales call with them and I won't take them in the program because they don't know anything. In order to be able to teach something worthwhile, you need to know something worthwhile. In order to market with new information, you have to know new information. The new information is not going to come from the Facebook feed. It's not going to come from the LinkedIn feed because everyone's parroting everyone. It has to come from an external source. It's like a well. You need to have, if you've got an empty well that's hardly got any water in there, guess what? You're not going to get people from content. You've lived the problems your clients have experienced. You've, you've experienced the problems your, exper your clients are experiencing. That gives you a lot more knowledge than a lot of people. If you aren't, and you will know this if I'm, if I'm saying it and it will hit home, then you need to fill that well up. You don't all need to read the books that I read. That's just a catalyst. That's just to give you some ideas. But certainly find some external sources to build on your experiences that you've experienced in order to help people grow, in order to teach worthwhile things, in order to teach new things. There's no such thing as a new idea. There is no such thing as a new idea. Read the books. Think about the ideas they're presenting. Think about how they can be applied to your market, how you can adjust them for your life. I've just given you an example. 37 times increase is from Atomic Habits. But I didn't steal the idea. I gave it and delivered it in a completely different context. 
People get stuck up thinking they're copying. There's no such thing as a, new, a brand new idea. Start reading the books, the YouTube channels, the movies, if you want to use the movies, and fill that well up so you've got something useful and new to teach. Because then people will start coming to you because they'll start seeing what you are capable of. Thank you.